Hey guys, my name is Uniga, Juan Zuniga, and welcome to Genstech. I'm just kidding. Hey guys, it's Juan Zuniga, and this is Genstech, and today we're gonna talk about James Bond's EDC. All right, so this is not exactly James Bond EDC, but this is what I think that James Bond should carry around for his EDC. The first and most important part of James Bond EDC is a watch. He always carries a watch. The newer James Bond uses a Submariner. However, I'm a bigger fan of the older James Bond's watch, which is the Omega Seamaster. So this is the watch that I'm including into this is EDC. I believe the Omega Seamaster is a beautiful watch. You can get one of these used at a very good price. You can get it for around $2,000. And I love this watch. It's very tough. You can go underwater with it without any issues, as long as you service it and all the gaskets are in working order. This is a great watch to have and it is one of my favorites. I actually use this watch a lot when I go out. This rubber strap is a Benito Cinturini strap and I'll have a link down below for it so you guys can check it out. The second item in James Bond CDC is a gun and the gun that James Bond has is the Walther PPK. I like the Walther PPK, however, I feel that it's too heavy for my taste. And the, the Walther PPK is chambered in 380. I like 380 and I've talked about the Ruger LCP that I carry and that's the one I'm gonna add to this list, the Ruger LCP chambered in 380. The reason is because it still keeps that 380 caliber into it and it's nice, small, compact, so he can use it with his nice tailored suits and not print at all. And the other reason that I like the Ruger LCP is because it's light. This gun is so light that you can put it in your front pocket, back pocket, and your waist, and you just forget that you have it. When I put it in my front pocket, I just feel like I have my phone there. Or if I put it in my back pocket, it feels like I have my wallet. So it's a gun that is very compact and very easy to conceal. The third item that I would add to James Bond EDC would be a Swiss Army knife. The reason that I like a Swiss Army knife and I think James Bond should have one is because it's a multi-tool. It has so many tools in it. And the one that I like and that I recommend a lot is a Swiss Army Alloc. It's nice, it's sleek, it's modern, it's very minimalistic. It has enough tools so you can use them for a lot of things and whenever you put it in your pocket you forget you have it. So this is the knife that I believe Bond should carry in his EDC. And the final item that I believe James Bond should have in his EDC is a pen. Although we live in this era where everything's technology, we still need a pen. And James Bond is a gentleman after all. So having a nice pen that he can carry around to write a note or write something down is amazing. So this one that I have here is a Cartier pen. I love this pen. It's nice and smooth and it just looks nice and elegant. That's something that a gentleman would carry around. Not only can he can use it as a writing utensil, he can actually use it as a weapon. It's a pen. Everybody knows that you can use a pen as a self defense defense weapon. So having a pen with you at all times should be a must and should be a priority in your EDC. All right guys, so these are the items that I believe James Bond should have in his EDC. If you guys have another item that should be added to this list or if there's an item that should be changed, leave a comment down below. Also, if there's another EDC of a famous person that you want me to do, leave a comment down below. All right guys, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.